Welcome back to Arcade Sunday. Today we're going to do a quick refresher course on how to install Groovy Arcade on your arcade cabinet with CRT monitor. Stay tuned. It's Arcade Sunday. Here we go again. Uh, this machine unfortunately decided to pack up recently. The hard disk failed. Luckily I was able to get my high scores and the configs off. But anyway, so all I've really done, I've pre-installed the Groovy Arcade installation. This is the 2020 edition, 64-bit, onto a bootable memory stick and boot it up to this point. This machine being a vertical orientation, obviously the, the video is uh, vertical, so um, it's a slightly confusing to view it this way, but nonetheless, I've done it a few times. So this is actually the second screen you get. The first screen you get asks you what monitor you want to use. The first option is for a regular LCD monitor or PC monitor. The second option is VGA at 15 kilohertz, and the third option is DVI at 15 kilohertz for arcade monitors. I'm going to just go ahead and say OK here. Now, there's a couple of things you need to do first. Um, I'm obviously going to end up doing the hard, ins hard disk installation, uh, but for now I need to go into the partition tool and I need to go to the partition manager so I can delete. Um, automatically stops automatically, yes, so you want to do that. And we want to choose drive to partition, so clearly it's this one. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and uh, delete all of these partitions. Okay, now we're going to go back to quit and done. It switches on automatic again. Then I want to go to main menu. I want to do a setup of uh, devices. Video setup is monitor type is obviously going to be, well, I'll leave it on a generic 15.7. There are, however, other options if you have any of these makes of monitors. There's actually a good option here on 17.2 for 15.7 uh, to 16.5 uh, extended resolution. Some monitors do support that. I just always choose generic. Um, it says just say yes to everything it asks you. Okay, then I'm going to say orientation, which is the next option. This is obviously vertical if you had a normal monitor. Just leave it on horizontal, vertical is what I'm choosing for this one. Aspect, 4, 2, 3. Um, don't worry about that, don't worry about that, don't worry about that, don't worry about that. And that's it. Now, I want to go to audio. Quite important. Um, also makes it some versions of Groovy Arcade installation start off with like half volume for some reason. I don't know why that is. However, these are going to be pretty high volume. I usually go down to there. Just you can just play with it depending on your sound configuration or how strong your speakers are, but these are very weak speakers at full volume, these are just too loud um, or get distorted, so I just put them down slightly. Um, you press escape, latency, this is another thing, I usually like to put this on 1.0, um, some luck can be had with just leaving the defaults, um, but I usually put on 1 for that, this helps with the latency generally. Okay, so the rest of the stuff I'm going to leave except for front end. So now I want to use attract mode, so I'll select attract mode, and it says it's switched to attract mode. You say OK, return to main, and now you basically I do everything else manually, so I'll go back to return to main, then I'll go for the hard drive installation again, and then I'm going to do hard drive installation. Install to disk, yes. Network, no, I'm not worried about that. I've already done all the system settings, so I say no. I don't want to do ROMs now. And then it goes about uh, formatting and copying files and doing the installation for you. So that's how easy it is. So while you add it, uh, have some chips or something, uh, have a cup of coffee or whatever, and uh, wait for this to install. Easy. No alignment skills required. So once the installation is complete, uh, copy your ROMs and your high scores back onto your installation if you had any backed up, and uh, sit down and play some games. Okay, it's Sunday out. See you next time, same place, 6.15 GMT on a Sunday.